Good morning guys and welcome to another vlog. So as you can see, I have some eggs, whip it up in the back and also have some toast right here. I have a lot of things gotta do today. I wanna take you along the way. So I've got some errands such as grocery shopping, drop off my board, go to the gym, but also showcasing what I'm eating throughout the day as well. So sit back and hope you enjoyed the video. So the next part of my morning routine is taking my ghost greens and alongside with my multivitamins, which are categorized throughout the week. Makes it easy so I don't have to go through each individual bottle in there, but just have it out here. I just like take it on the go and be on my way. I want to explain the process of how I make coffee. First step is to grab a scale, measure out 18 grams of beans, goes inside here, gets grinded, falls onto here. WDT tool to evenly distribute the coffee beans. I want to go ahead and I want to level it out, followed by the tamper to compress it. The last step is you want to use your puck right here to keep it clean before extracting. Today is actually a content day for me where I'm gonna upload all of my short form content across my platforms. And from there, I'm also gonna knock out some work on the computer, mostly admin work in the morning. And then after this is done, we're gonna get ready and head to the gym. to train legs. I don't know why is it, but I always feel like I'm training legs for some odd reason. But on another note, this new song, the remix by Drake on Act 2. Chicken thighs, chicken tenderloins, a pair of thighs with rice. It's gonna be four ounces of each, so eight ounces total, with 125 grams of white rice, and that's gonna be our second meal for the day. I am running a little bit low on groceries, so in terms of like veggies and all that. So after this, we're gonna go grocery shopping and also get our board tuned and I'll drop that off.
All right, so we just got the board dropped off at St. Bernard's here to get tuned. Uh, essentially what they do when they detune it is they put a layer of wax on the bottom of the board to make it glide smoother over the snow, but also they kind of uh, sharpen the edges a little bit so you can kind of cut through the ice when you do carve. All of my trips this year so far have been uh, snowboarding. So back in January, then I went two weeks ago for my buddy's batch. We went to uh, Park City, Utah, and I'll try to include like, a little clip here of me boarding there. Going again this week. So by the time y'all see this video, I will be in Park City, Utah boarding. Last time this season that I'm, I will be boarding until next season, um, I just found out that they are selling the Epic Pass for next season already. So the next time I'll go will probably be in like the November, December time frame. Well, I'm definitely itching for like a warmer vacation at the moment because I feel like I'm more of a tropical vibes kind of guy. But yeah, um, next stop is gonna be grocery shopping. So we're gonna head over to Whole Foods. We're gonna start with some fruits. So what I like to do is always check the bottom of the fruits to see if it's like cold or anything like that. So that's a pro tip right there. Next thing, we need to grab some greens, baby spinach, one of my favorites. Can go well with any meal. So I like to get this. You can add this as a side salad to any meal, which is also a nice compliment. Got some ground bison right here, but last time came here they had venison. But dude, they're like all sold out right now. So we'll go with this and find some other selections. Yeah, definitely gonna need a new sponge. So circling back because I actually forgot bananas. For my snack, I'm gonna have some apples, blueberries, blackberries, raspberries, bananas, and some yogurt. I've been trying to incorporate a lot more fruits as of lately into my diet, and these are my choices right here. I'm gonna unbox some packages. The first one's from our sponsor, Ghost. So we have orange squeeze, some kiwi strawberry. Second package from Ghost here. Bunch of protein packets here. We have Oreo, we have vegan protein chocolate cereal milk, and we have whey protein cereal milk. Last but not least, here's a clip. The next sponsor is RV. This is the care package for March. Got some socks. This is a stainless steel one, so it's pretty tight. Joggers here, these are the hybrid ones. I'll buy some five inch shorts. These are the plum, oversized navy, OTWR shirt, a pair of black joggers. We have two training division shirts. These are their oversized one and a black, and this one is in a stone color. The last two items are a beanie and the five inch linerless Tetralite short. This is the black with the white bracket. A PR package from Givenchy. I believe that this is their new cologne. Now that we got all the packages unboxed, I kind of want to show you a little update of the house and where I'm at with the decorations and whatnot. So let's start with the living room. Well, the two lounge chairs here shifted the couch from the wall over to the middle where it's more centered for just like watching shows and TV. I'm so undecided as for what I want to do with the couch, replace it or keep it. But as for right now, I think it looks nice. Added with the ASRB blanket, which looks pretty clean. So moving on to the bedroom, I changed all of my cotton sheets to linen. That includes the duvet cover. I also replaced the duvet itself with the fitted sheet. I do have a flat sheet, but it's not on here right now. I do like the linen over cotton. It's more breathable, lightweight, but it also gets softer each wash. And I also upgraded all the standard pillows to 
king size. These are from Casper. They are super comfortable to sleep on and I feel like, you know, if you want to invest in your recovery, you should start with this. So a lot of people have been recommending that I get a tree or some type of greenery inside my house. So this is a six foot olive tree paired with a clay pot base. So as for the last update, I changed the fan. The old one was making a lot of noise and plus my neighbor and I had the same ones and it was, you know, turning mine on when I didn't want it to be on. But with this one, it's a lot more modern and it's also flush to the ceiling. So moving on to the last room that I put a lot of upgrades into. This is the guest room. The bed is from Casper. Sheets are from Amazon. Frame is from Thuma, which is a pretty cool brand. It has like Japanese joinery, so I didn't need any tools at all to assemble this bed. I have a lamp from Ikea with a fig tree from Ikea as well. The guest also has the same fan. If you all are interested in any of the pieces that I just mentioned, just go to the description where my Amazon storefront will be and all the items should be listed in there. This is gonna be meal three and four. This is the bison that we bought earlier, 90-10 bison. I'm gonna have this with some rice, approximately 125 grams. Bison is gonna be eight ounces and I'm gonna have that with some lettuce and some spinach and that should be the full day of eating right there. Sriracha it off with some lettuce there you have it perfect use for the ghost clip that we got earlier i'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here thank you for making this far in the video and i hope you enjoy what you saw today i know today's video is a little bit different it's more of me showcasing what i'm doing outside of the house in terms of running errands and if you like that let me know below but if you have any other comments and suggestions about what you want to see go ahead and drop it down below as well for me i'm gonna go ahead and kick back and uh, catch some anime uh, I've been watching Love is Blind as of lately, but also been watching Magic and Muscles. Uh, it's a pretty cool show, but alongside with that, I'm also keeping up with Ninja Kamui and also Solo Leveling, which I need to catch up on because the latest episode dropped uh, this past weekend. But yeah, other than that, I appreciate you all for watching. Until the next vlog, peace.